All right, just need to cut some gears. Let me just find the right one to cut with. And... Oh, no. There's a problem here. We have to understand how to use these. I'm going to attempt to try to explain, to the best of my knowledge, how to choose the right cutter and how to know when to stop cutting. I want to make gears. And I need to know two things, basically. I need to know how deep to cut, and I need to know the outside diameter, because I could have a gear that's, you know, five feet in diameter, and, you know, I only want it to have 45 teeth. Uh, ugh. Okay. So these are the things that I'm going to be looking for, depth of cut and outside diameter, and how I came to, to solve these two things. We have to first understand uh, one or two concepts. And if you want information on all of that, you go to Machinery's Handbook, hands down. Awesome book. It's one of these things where I like to actually like open it up once in a while and just read a section. No idea, you know, just pick something. So there's a bunch you could you could dive into here and, and some of it I basically understand, some of it I don't even understand. Uh, that's because I suck at math. But or geometry, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. We need to know a term called diametral pitch. Diametral pitch, the way I understand it, and you know, you could I could read I could sit here and read the definition to you, but what am I really doing at that point? You know, I could just stop and just say, go buy, a, go buy this book and read it. The diametral pitch is basically the relationship of the number of teeth to a circle, okay? The number of teeth to a circle. It's just a relationship. Technically, it's a ratio, but I'm just calling it relationship because the word ratio kind of scares me. Uh, anything with math, I really suck at, so, um, yeah. Another term that you might hear is module. Module is basically diametral pitch. It's to be understood as the same thing, but the word module relates to millimeters. Uh, I'm merkin. <laughs> so this, yeah, we're going to get out of module as fast as we possibly can because, well, uh, I'm merkin. Now you look at it and you see, okay, number eight, 24p bevel. Yeah, that means nothing to me. You Google it, and essentially Brown and Sharp kind of came up with this uh, this plan, if you will, for cutters, and they came up with a series of, I think it was just eight different cutters. So the cutter itself has a particular profile on the tooth, and that tooth can cut a certain gear number here we go let's take a look at this one a number two 29 pitch 55 to 134 t t for teeth uh this last part here i think that's to do the calculation on your depth of cut but uh number two so this is a number two cutter it'll do a 29 uh diametral pitch and it'll cut anywhere from 55 teeth to 134 teeth. To clarify, that means if I want to use this cutter I'm holding in my hand and I want to cut a 74 tooth gear, it is completely dependent upon the OD of my gear part. If I want to use this cutter that I'm holding in my hand, at least that's the way I understand it. And the reason why you can't just like, you can't just pull this, say, you know, this is a 28 pitch, 28 diametral pitch. And if I grab one that is, say this one, 24 pitch, and this is a 28 pitch, you can't make, the, the gears won't mesh up because that ratio, Remember that ratio, diametral pitch, is a ratio, that relationship to the size, to the number of teeth, they're not going to jive. 
the best way I can explain it is they have a different profile. You, if you're looking down, right down the line, they have a different profile than this profile. And that, yeah, that's not going to work. Okay? That doesn't work. So you need the same diamond. This is an extreme case, an extreme example. And I hope this makes sense. And I hope I've got this right. But this is the way I understand it. So yeah, I can't just use mix, mix and, and match from these gears because I, I don't have a complete set. I got some, you know, 24 pitch, 28 pitch. I got a 40 pitch, you know, they're not gonna work. So you, you really need a complete set if you need to, to do that full range of gears. All right, here's a nice little chart for you. So here are the eight cutters in the set from the, the seller that I bought these off of. Uh, they had it listed. So this is the number one cutter, and it'll do 12 to 13 teeth. Number two, 14 to 16, and so on. All the way up to my last cutter, the number eight, that would do 135 to a rack, like rack and pinion. Now, you remember that thing where I said that uh, module is basically diametral pitch? So module has to deal with millimeters. Yep, you guessed it. These came and they're module. So before I bought it, I had to make a decision on the diametral pitch that I wanted. And for what I'm doing, I'm using a 28 or close to it. So these were a good deal and that's why I bought them and it's 28 pitch. Let's take a look here. So M.9, so a .9 module, it's technically not 28 pitch, it's diametral pitch, it's a 28.22, and that's the number one, and then P6M5, yeah, we'll just leave that alone, because I, yeah, never mind. Hey, if you know what it is, let me know, put that in the comments. Say this is you, you go out, you buy a set of cutters, and then you're like, okay, now what? Let's just say I want to cut a gear of 45 teeth. Perfect. 45 teeth. That's what you want. I know by looking literally at this this cutter The module is a 0 .9. 0 .9 and this is a number six. So number six according to what we saw can cut 45 teeth. Great. Module. I hate that module because I'm murking. I need that to be diametral pitch. How do I find it? Here's what you do. Diametral pitch equals 25.4 over the module. 25.4 over 0.9. And you end up with a diametral pitch of 28.22. What do I need to know? I need to know the OD. What size am I going to cut my blank out? Do, I mean, do I cut it 5 feet in diameter? Do I cut it, a, you know, 1 inch? What is, I don't understand. I need to know this. And the other thing I need to know is how deep do I need to cut for my depth of tooth. You know, how far down do I cut into the material? So those are the two things I need to know to be able to make a gear. To find those two things, yeah, we're going to get we're going to get in the machinery's handbook. It's got it all. It should have the information, right? It should tell me exactly what to do. Well, the great thing is, a few pages in on gearing, they have rules and formulas for dimensions of spur gears. Perfect. They have their numbered uh, number of rules that they, they have to find. Okay, what do I need to find? I need to find the OD, the outside diameter. Hmm. Hey, look, number 15, rule 15, outside diameter. And it says, add 2 to the number of teeth and divide the sum by the diametral pitch. All right, rule 15 says... The OD equals the number of teeth plus 2 divided by the diametral pitch. We know those things. So in this case, I want to make a 45 tooth gear. So 45 plus 2 divided by my diametral pitch, which, again, my module, module was 0.9. And I did that little basic math. Okay, I knew my module. And I got 28.22. So, 47 
divided by 28.22 gives me an OD of 1.665. There it is. That is 1.665 OD. Uh, good enough for me, that's for sure. So there's our blank, ready to go. Now we know 1.665 OD is taken care of. It's out of the equation. Now all I need to do is get the depth of cut. It's listed as W in the machinery's handbook. That's why I put W there. So in their equation, they just use W. I guess a lot of people would probably use D or something like that, but it's W. D probably for diameter, that confusion. So that's why depth of cut, because they list it actually as uh, whole depth of cut of teeth or whatever, whatever. Well, you'll see it, okay, here it is. All right, rule number 11, whole depth of tooth. Divide 2.157 by the diametral pitch. And that's it. Rule number 11 is W equals 2.157 divided by the diametral pitch. For us, what does that look like? That's 2.157 divided by 28.22. And that will give us a depth of cut of 0 0.076. Finally, I get to cut. We've got our blank put on, on our dividing head. We've got the correct number cutter and I ran the outside edge right down there. It's touching on the face of the cutter itself. So I'm gonna drop the table down and I'll feed in half the distance. So half of that is, uh, I think that's uh, 832,000 basically, 833. Um, We'll feed in that much and then half the width of the cutter itself. These cutters are 123 thousandths. I'll have to double check that. So half of that. So half of this and then half of this. And I should be dead nut center over top of my gear blank. Well, I hope that makes sense with all the gears and whatnot and how to cut them. You know, it's basic information that I'm providing. I'm sure you can find more detailed and thorough information out there. Machinery's Handbook, definitely the way to go. Can't recommend it enough. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.